This morning we are embarking on a school field trip. We are headed to Old Salem to do a candle tea at the Home Moravian Church. This is a really unique thing that they offer at Christmas time, and we've actually never been before, so I'm very excited. I knew that we would be eating lunch out, so I wanted to try to kind of pace our spending, so I'm just fixing the kids some yogurt parfaits for the car, and I am making myself some cream cheese cinnamon sugar toast. I have heard really good things about this particular event. I've just heard that it's really neat, really educational, and I think that the kids are going to have a great time. Brandon is actually off today, so all four of us get to go, and I'm just really looking forward to the day. Well, welcome to the Candle Tea. You know, this building has been here a very long time. And when it was first built, it was full of boys, probably just a little bit older than the ones I see here. This would have been their dining room. But we have rearranged it today to show you how we make our beeswax candles. And we use those in our love feast on Christmas Eve. It's going to look right over this hook and she's going to pull it through. Now she's going to do that for each one of these candle molds and she has to be very careful in that each one of these has to have a head and a tail. And I'm pouring it very slowly, but for, for those of you that are closest to me, can you see anything about the color or the consistency of this? Does it remind you of anything? Water. 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 What else? Yellow water. Yellow water. That's very important. Here he is. So after we learned how the candles were made, we actually had the opportunity that we could purchase them along with some other handmade goodies there. Our tickets actually did include a candle for each of us and you'll get to see those later on in the video. This theme of the Moravian star was everywhere and it's just so beautiful. The Salem architects and builders built this house in 1769. That was a long time ago. This is a Moravian sugar cookie. Thank you. It is maybe a little difficult to see, but this area is called the Putz, P-U-T-Z, the Putz. And this is basically a replica of the town of Old Salem. And so we were able to kind of see the building that we were in and all of the surrounding streets and all the different old buildings there. And then we got to see this nativity scene and as different parts of the scripture were being read, different parts of the scene would light up. It was really a cool experience. Which the Lord hath made known unto us. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as was told unto them. And if there is one thing that Old Salem is known for, it is their bakery. I remember coming here in middle school on a trip, and I don't remember a lot about our trip, but I do remember this, and it was the sweet cake, the sugar cake. It smells incredible, it tastes incredible, so we definitely ended up coming home with a little bit of that. They had lots of baked goods and they smelled no, delicious.
done having lunch at Moe's. And there's actually a Trader Joe's in the same shopping center. So we are headed to Trader Joe's. I have told them that if they are Christmas monkeys instead of Christmas angels, that we cannot stay. Hopefully we're gonna make it okay. I never get to go to Trader Joe's, so I'm excited to go, especially at Christmas time. Thank you, Merry Christmas. So if I had to pick my favorite things about Trader Joe's in the spring and summertime, absolutely, it is the selection of florals. I have used these for weddings, for baby showers, all kinds of decorating things, and then, you know, of course, just to have them in your home, too. But then we came along to all of the Christmas items. Of course, Avon wanted to show me this huge chocolate coin, but some of these I had seen before, some of them I hadn't. These dark chocolate sea salt caramels are my absolute favorite, so I did pick up a box of those. This kind I had never seen before. It was a taste test of caramels, and it had quite a few different flavors, some interesting combinations as you'll see here. I've heard of the English toffee. I think I might have tried that before, and I thought this little hand soap and lotion combo looked like a nice gift. All right, well that was super fun. We went to Old Salem and we are back home and it was just a really fun morning. Even with it being like a little bit drizzly, we still had such a good time. It's such a neat place. There's just a lot of history and the kids did <laughs> fairly well. Uh, they could have used some like real playground time. We did take a break thankfully midway through and let them like run around a little courtyard area. But yeah, it was just a lot of fun. So we we're back home and while we were out, I got a an email that my Christmas cards came in. So I thought we would unbox them together. We got our cards from a company called Photo Affections. This was our first time using them. Um, but my sister found a Groupon, which I honestly, I forgot Groupon was even a thing. Um, so I was like, well, you know, we'll give it a shot. Nice little box. Oh. I'm really pleased with them, honestly. Uh, we didn't have professional photos made this year, and so I wasn't really sure how it was going to look. You know, sometimes if you have just a phone photo and it looks fine on your phone, but then you get it printed in some way, it can look grainy. But honestly, I, I think it looks really nice. Um, I think we ended up, by the time you added shipping to it, I think they were maybe just over $50. I'll, I'll put the total here somewhere because I, I can't remember how much they were, but I could have paid more and done a photo and some scripture on the back. And I really wanted to do that, uh, but I just decided it wasn't worth it. And probably a large percentage of the people that receive these will throw them away after the Christmas season. So, um, you know, I wanted them to be nice, but I didn't know that it was worth the extra to do the two-sided, um, but yeah. So, I don't even know what time it is, to be honest. I guess it's like afternoon sometime. I literally don't even know. I would guess it to be somewhere around like three o'clock, but I'm not sure. Um, the plan is to spend the evening just doing some home stuff that needs to be done and resting and just having a nice mix of both. Um, that laundry that I spot treated yesterday, I've let it sit for a long time. And now I'm going to wash it. Um, I'm wondering if I should wash it in warm or cold. Usually with those kinds of things, I wash in warm. Um, you have to let me know down in the comments what you do for your laundry. Um, but then the plan is just to rest and get ready for decorating. Tomorrow is going to be my big decorating day. Um, I get to have some time here by myself, which I think will be really helpful. And so I'm trying to just continue to get those spaces ready for decorating and then just do some fun like Christmas activities. Also, I'm going to give the kids their December 1st gift tonight. So um, I decided since we were getting home from Old Salem like midday to just wait. Um, so maybe later on while I'm having them like tidy their room up, I'll just slip the presents under the tree while they're not in here. So I'm going to include a couple of other clips and after that, I will just say, see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching guys.
presents. Are they early ones? Yeah. You each get a December this first is gift. This is yours.